Hi guys, I have a reformer workout for you using weights in a box. I have a heavier set of weights. I went with a six, so feel free to go with a heavy set of weights. If you guys don't have weights, you can do everything without the weights. If you prefer to go lighter, you guys can always go lighter. And then as always, I will have the props linked in the description below if you guys don't have them. So we're gonna start today. Foot bars are gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna start with a red and a yellow spring, which is a heavy and a light spring on my balanced body reformer. We're gonna grab our weights and then we're gonna go ahead and lie down with our weights. Before we lie down, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You guys can leave me those super thanks and don't forget Friday's videos will be for members only. That is $4.99 a month for those member only videos on Friday. All right, let's grab those weights, lie yourselves down. And then when you guys get down, we're just gonna start with our long or short loops into our hands. I'm gonna go ahead and use the short loops into my hands, which are gonna be a little heavier. We're gonna grab the weights into our hands as well, just to create a little extra work today for our arms. So weights and hands, straps and hands. Arms are gonna go straight up to the ceiling. Hands are right over your shoulders, neutral spine. Knees are gonna come up into a tabletop position. Our legs are zipped together. On an exhale, we're gonna press and curl ourselves up into an abdominal curl. And then on our inhale, we're gonna return back down with control. Again, exhaling as we press and curl, and then inhale to return back down with control. Exhale, not curl. Inhale again to return back down with control. We're gonna go ahead and do three more curls coming right from the bra line, returning. We wanna think neutral spines the entire time. And then last one. Now when we come up into our curl, we're gonna pause at the top. Arms are gonna open up to a T, our shoulders and heads go down. And then on our exhale, we're gonna press and curl ourselves back up from here. Open the arms, shoulders, heads down. Exhaling as we nod and curl. We should really feel those biceps working here. We should feel those lats engage as well. Exhaling as we curl up. Inhale, return. Again, I wanna think I'm nodding my chin towards my chest, curling from my bra line, keeping that nice little space in between the low back and the mat. We're gonna go for three, two, and then last one, exhale, press curl, and then we're gonna return back down. All right, feel free to relax your arms, feel free to adjust those weights. We're gonna do those same two movements with our arms, with our curls, we're gonna add in our leg extensions. So the arms can reach right back up to the ceiling, neutral spine, knees are up into our tabletop position, legs are zipped together, let's exhale, press, curl, extend the legs out to a challenging level, Inhale to return, exhale, press, curl, extend, and then inhale, return. Think drawing those abs in and up as we reach the legs away, and then inhale again, return. Imagine that you're buttoning a tight pair of jeans. You're scooping into your abs to button those jeans on every exhale. We're gonna go for two, and then last one, press, curl, extend, inhale, return. Now, let's open our arms out to a T from here. On our exhale, we're gonna press, curl, extend the legs back out. As we open the arms, shoulders, heads go down. Exhale, press, curl, extend, inhale as we return. Nodding the chin to the chest, scooping into those abs. We'll do three more two, and then last one. All right, arms up, shoulders down, head down, relax the feet. Again, feel free to relax the arms, adjust your weights, adjust your straps, and then we're just gonna move into some arm circles and tricep press. Arms will go right back up to the ceiling. Our knees are gonna come up into a tabletop position again. Legs are zipped together. Let's exhale to press the arms down to the mat. Inhale as we open to circle around and back up. Exhale down. Inhaling as we circle around and back up for our arm circles. Again, a nice neutral spine the entire time. Our bra lines stay anchored and the movement comes from our shoulders. Really feeling those biceps. All right, now the next time we bring it to the hips, pause, reverse, go up to the shoulders, out to our T. Exhale to the hips, inhale up, open, exhaling 
as we press up open. Exhale to press the palms back down to our hips. Three more. Two. And then on this last one, we'll hold our arms down at our hips, bend the elbows, tricep press. Palms can be rotated towards the floor. If you hover your elbows, it's a little more challenging. If you relax your elbows down, it's a little easier. Let's just go for three more, two, and one. All right, we'll relax our feet. I'm gonna set my weights down at my sides, and then we're gonna go ahead and hang our straps up onto the pegs. Okay, so when we hang our straps up, we're gonna sit ourselves off to the sides. Our weights are gonna go off to the sides. We'll use them a little later. We're gonna grab our box. And then I'm just gonna put the box slightly on the frame of my reformer. So it's like right next to my carriage. I have it like an inch away from the carriage. And then it's just resting on the foot bar. So it's at a little bit of a slant here. So box is on the foot bar, on the frame. Make sure that it's secure. We're staying on those same springs, and then we are going to lie ourselves down onto the mats. Okay, when we get down onto the mats, we're gonna reach back and grab just our right strap into our hand. Since we are on a red and a yellow spring today, if you guys wanna use a long loop, you can use a long loop to make it lighter, or you can use your hand in your short loop to make it heavier. I'm gonna go short loop. So right strap, right hand, Hand is in. Do not worry about your neutral spine for these exercises. Our left hand is gonna slide on top of our right, and then our knees are gonna come up into a tabletop position. Now, I'm gonna sway my knees slightly to the left side, just so I can get a little more of a curl. We're gonna exhale, press curl, rotate to our right hip, and then we're gonna inhale, return back down with control. Exhale, press curl to that right hip, and then inhale, return. So chin towards the chest, curling right up into those oblique curls and then returning. Again, my knees are slightly, and I say slightly, to the left side. We're gonna go for two more. And then last one, exhale, press, curl. Inhale, return, now pause at the bottom. We're gonna add in our left leg extending out. So as we press, curl, we reach the left leg away. We inhale, return, press, curl, extend the left leg out. Inhale, return. Again, I want those obliques to fire on these crunches. And then I also want those obliques to fire with your left leg extending out. Four more. If your neck's ever an issue, heads can always stay down. Two and one. All right, when we come down, relax. We're gonna take the long loop onto the right foot. And then when you guys get that long loop onto the right foot, the right leg is gonna be straight up to the ceiling. Left foot is gonna be right onto the box. I have my heel right towards the edge. And then low back is gonna be flat. So I'm not holding a neutral spine. Arms are at our sides, headrests are down. Think carriage stays still. We're gonna roll our spine up off of the mat and then we're gonna roll our spine down. And I'm not gonna think too much of an articulation of my back for these. So I'm gonna think a very like small amount of articulation to come up and then we're going back down. So it's mainly just one piece to lift, one piece to lower. I'm stretching out my left hamstring just because it's cramping up. Feel free to stretch out that left hamstring. One piece to lift, one piece to lower. Try to keep your carriage nice and still. We're gonna go for three, two, and then last one. Okay, bring your left knee up into a tabletop position, right leg is straight up. Again, I'm not worried a ton about my neutral spine here. We're gonna pull our right leg straight down towards the box. Then when we hinge to come up, set the left foot down, lift the hips up, lower the hips down, pull the right leg down, hinge to come up, set the left foot, lift, lower, pull down, hinge, and lift and lower. So again, I'm thinking for the most part, one piece to lift my spine up and then one piece to lower my spine back down. We're just gonna go for three more. Two. 
and a one. Lift and lower. All right, now, right leg stays straight up to ceiling. Left leg goes long over our box. We're gonna take our left hand behind our head. I'm gonna just gonna keep my right arm at my side. And then we're gonna pull our right leg down, kick our left leg up for scissors. The next time the right leg comes up and the left leg goes down, I'm gonna curl and rotate my left elbow to my right knee. Again, not worrying about neutral spine. When I pull my right leg down and kick my left leg up, my head is back down. And then we're gonna curl, rotate. And I'm just keeping my right arm to my side. So let's exhale to curl, rotate. Inhale to pull the leg down. Exhale to curl, rotate. Inhale to pull the leg down. So think left elbow to the right knee, pull the right leg down, left elbow, right knee, pull the leg down. We're gonna go for four, three, two, and one. All right, now once we come back up, pause, go ahead, take that strap off of your foot, and then we're gonna hang it back up onto the peg. Okay, grab the left strap into your hand. Again, long loop lighter, short loop heavier. I'm gonna take my left hand through, right hand slides on top. Again, do not worry about your neutral spine for any of this work. We're gonna bring our knees up into a tabletop position, sway slightly to the right side, and then on an exhale, we're gonna press, curl, rotate to our left hip. Inhale, return, press, curl, rotate to that left hip. Inhale, return, exhale up, and inhale back. Exhale, press, curl, rotate. Inhale back, really trying to work on that rotation of my spine so I can get those obliques to fire. We're gonna go for two more, and then last one. Okay, now when we come down, pause, keep those knees slightly to the right side. We're adding in single leg extension. So when we press, curl, rotate, we reach the right leg out to a challenging level. Inhale, return, press, curl, rotate. Inhale, return, extending the right leg out every time we curl up. Again, if the necks are an issue, heads can always stay down into the mats. I'm gonna go for three, two, and one. Okay, then when we come down, relax the feet. We're gonna take that long loop onto the arch of the left foot. The left leg is gonna be straight up to ceiling. My right heel is right at the edge of the box. Again, my low back is flat. My carriage is gonna stay still. On an exhale, we're gonna lift the hips up. Again, think very little articulation, lower the hips down. So for the most part, it's one piece up, one piece down, one piece up, one piece down, pushing into that right leg. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead, bring our Knee up into a tabletop position. We're gonna pull the left leg down, hinge up, set the right foot back down onto the box, lift up in one piece, lower, pull the leg down, lift the leg up, lift and lower. So it's a pull, a hinge, a lift and a lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. So we exhale the pull, inhale the hinge, exhale the lift, Inhale to lower, pull, hinge, lift, lower. Pull, hinge, lift, lower. Give me three, two, and one. Lift, lower. Now, from that lift lower, extend your right leg just nice and long over that box. Right hand behind the head, left hand can stay at your side. I'm gonna pull my left leg down, kick my right leg up. Then when my left leg comes up and my right leg goes down, right elbow to the left knee, pull and kick. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale to pull the left leg down, exhale to rotate to the leg. Inhale down, exhale, rotate. Trying to get that rotation from my spine and not my neck. 
So just make sure when you guys go elbow to knee, you're not cranking into the back of your neck. And I'm trying to keep a steady pelvis as best as I can. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, set that right foot down. Feel free to tug on that strap. We're gonna take it off our foot and we're gonna hang it back up onto the peg. Now, arms are gonna be on our sides. Our feet are onto the box. My carriage is all the way home. Neutral spine to start. We're gonna flatten our low backs down into the mat, peel our spines up, hold at the top, and then we're gonna inhale, push the carriage out with both legs. Exhale in, push the carriage away, and then pull back in for three more bridges. Push, pull, push, pull, and then last one. All right, when you come in, roll the spines down, and then we're gonna sit off to the sides. Okay, when we sit off to the sides, we are gonna go ahead, grab our weights again. Our box is gonna stay in the same spot. Just make sure that it's in a good position. You're going to sit on your reformers facing your straps. Feet can start in the headrest, and then my back is gonna go right onto the box. Now, when my back goes onto the box, I'm gonna lower my head down onto the box, and then I'm gonna take my heels right onto my shoulder blocks. Okay, so head supported, heels are on the shoulder blocks, arms are gonna open out nice and wide to the sides of the room, slight little bend to our elbows, chest expansion. We're gonna push the carriage out with the legs, reach the arms up over the chest, Open the arms, pull the carriage in. Exhale out, inhale back, push, and inhale back, glutes and hamstrings. Exhale out, inhale back, really feeling that glute max, right where your butt connects your leg and your hamstrings working here. Exhale away, inhale back. We're gonna go three, two, and one. Okay, come in. Arms are gonna go back up to the ceiling. Palms rotated towards each other, arms are long. I'm gonna bend my elbows so the weights are right to the sides of my head. Tricep extensions, we're gonna exhale, press out, extend the arms, bend the elbows as we come in. Tricep extensions with those glute and hamstring pushes. Exhale out, inhale back, press and bend. Squeeze your butts. Three, two, and one. Okay, bring the arms down, set the weights down, set your feet into your headrest, and then set your butts down. Okay, you guys are gonna sit up, and then when you sit up, we're gonna sit off to the sides. We are going to stay on the same springs, your box is gonna stay. We're gonna stand on your reformer facing your box, and then we're gonna take the weights back into my hands. Now, when we get here, left foot is gonna go onto the box. Right foot is gonna step back to the shoulder block. Heel is lifted. We're gonna stand up, find a nice lunge, and then when we press out, we're gonna do a bicep curl. So palms rotated forward press the carriage out, bicep curl, and then bring the carriage in. Press out, bicep curl, bring the carriage in. So I'm keeping a slight bend to my left knee the entire time, just pushing out and in with that right leg to start. Okay, now the next time I push out, I'm gonna hold out, bend my knee, extend the leg, bend, Extend, let's add in those curls. Bend, extend, bend, extend. All right, we have four, three, two, one. Okay, now keep this bicep curl, keep your right leg long to start. You're gonna bend your right knee like you're gonna touch the carriage, extend your right leg long. Bend your right knee like you're gonna touch the carriage, extend long. Bend and extend, bend, extend. Find that balance. Three, two, 
one, and then set your hands down, take that foot off. Ooh. All right, same thing on the right side. Right foot onto the box, hop that left foot back, weights are in your hands, bicep curls the entire time, might notice a difference with your balance on one side, rotate your palms forward, the right leg stays slightly bent, you push out, and then just bring the carriage in with that left leg. Warming up, out, in, out, in. Might be a little harder to balance on this side because we already worked that right leg. Give me three, two, and then on this last one, hold, bend your left knee, extend, bend, extend. We're continuing those bicep curls. Bend, press, bend, press. Find that stability with that right leg. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now hold the curl. Bend your left knee like you're gonna touch down, extend. Bend like you're gonna touch down, extend. That carriage is trying to stay still. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Set those weights down. Set your foot down, and then you can step off to the side. Okay, we're gonna set one weight to the side. Does not matter which one. And then we're gonna keep on our light spring. Grab a drink if you need to. Okay, so I'm taking off my red, keeping on my light spring, and we're gonna do some oblique work with that weight. We're gonna kneel on a reformer. We're gonna start with the left form down onto the box. I'm gonna have my fist pointed to the right side and then we're gonna set our hips down onto the carriage. Now, whatever leg feels more comfortable, top foot forward, bottom foot back, bottom foot forward, top foot back, whatever you guys feel more natural with. And then we're gonna keep the weight just right out in front of you. Now, my right hand is on the box. We are going to push into our left arm, lift our hip up. From there, we're gonna stretch our legs long, hold, and then grab that weight into your right hand. Reach it up to the ceiling, thread the needle. We're gonna tuck, reach that right arm under, and inhale, come back, six total. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale back. I want those hips to rotate towards the floor and then to the right side when you come back. Three, feel those left obliques. Two, and one, and back. Okay, bend the knees, come down, set the weight down, other side. I'm a huffing and a puffing here. Whew, good workout. Okay. Right form on the box. Again, either top foot forward, bottom foot back, bottom foot forward, top foot back, whatever you guys feel more comfortable with. My left hand is on the box. I'm gonna push into my right forearm, lift my hip off of the carriage, stretch my legs long, hold, grab the weight into your left hand, six, thread the needle. So we're gonna tuck round, thread the needle, inhale back. Exhale, tuck round, inhale back. Two more. And last one. Ooh, okay. Bend the knees, come down. Okay, set that weight to the side. We're gonna take your short box. It's gonna go on your reformer in front of your shoulder blocks. And we're gonna add back on that red spring. So we're back onto a red and a yellow. Our foot bars are gonna go up to the starting position. And if this feels too heavy, if you feel like you guys are getting pushed too much on your reformer, you can always go to just one red. I'm gonna take my left knee against the box. My forearms are gonna be all the way at the edge of the box. 
and then I'm gonna take my right toes, balls of my feet onto the foot bar. Now, on an exhale, we're just gonna press the carriage out with the right leg, bend in, press out, bend in. Now, again, we're on our toes today. I want you to think, stay lifted onto your nice high heel. So high toes, pressing into your foot bar, squeezing your glute to go out, bending back in. Press, squeeze, and bend. If you guys wanna make this a little heavier, feel free to go heavier. If you need to go lighter, go lighter. It's up to you. We're gonna go for four, three, two, squeeze your butt, last one. Okay, now when we come in, we're gonna pause in, we're gonna rotate to the right side. So my left form is gonna rotate to the right as well. My leg is gonna rotate so that my left shin is up against the box. Right heel goes right onto your foot bar. You guys are externally rotating, toes are pointing up to the ceiling. We're gonna press out and in, in our external rotation here. Again, if you guys wanna make this heavier, feel free to go a little heavier for your glutes. I'm gearing just towards a medium spring for myself today. Press, bend, press, bend. If you wanna reach that right arm up to the ceiling, you can. You can take it behind your head. You can go to your hip. It is up to you. Working into those smaller, more stabilizing glute muscles in that external rotation. Meet and min. Four, three, left shoulder out of the ear, two, and one. Come all the way in. Okay, go ahead. Both knees back down, both arms down. My right knee is up against the box. My left toe as well as my feet are onto the foot bar. We're gonna exhale, press straight out. Bend in, out, and in. Now again, think nice, high heels with your toes on the foot bar today. So that heel stays towards your glutes as much as you can. My hips, shoulders are parallel to the floor. And then as always, you guys wanna think scooping into your abs. So belly is drawing in to the back. Four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, now when we come in, pause. We're gonna rotate to the left side. So my right shin goes up against the box. My right forearm is down. My hand is rotated to the left. Heel is on the foot bar. We're externally rotated. We're going out and in with this left leg. Again, we're getting into those stabilizers. Left arm can be up to the ceiling, behind your head, at your hip. You guys can hold on to the box wherever you feel comfortable. And then just being mindful that those hips are still stacked, your shoulders are stacked, and that right shoulder isn't creeping up into your ear. So we're pushing into our right forearm to find that nice, beautiful form. Good, out and in. We have five more and four. I feel my right glute as well. Three, two, and one. Okay, set the hand down, both knees down, come back center. We're gonna take off that light spring. If you guys made it heavier for your glutes, just go to one red spring or one heavy spring again. Forms are gonna go down onto the box. This time, my forms are fully supported by my box. My hands are off. My knees are right at the edge. Toes, balls of the feet are right at the edge of the foot bar. We're gonna press our carriage out, pause. We're gonna take our, left, our right knees to the box, extend left leg to the box. Extend, try to tap the knee to the box so we can get into our obliques. The carriage should be staying nice and still. My shoulders are right over my elbows. I'm exhaling to pull straight in, straight out. 
Let's go five, four, three, two, one, bend and come down. Okay, keep the box here. We're gonna do a little stretch on the box before we finish off with some feet and straps. So, red spring can stay. We're gonna kneel on our box facing the foot bar. Knees are gonna open out nice and wide. We're gonna do child's pose here. Hands on the foot bar, chest drops down in between the arms, and we're just stretching. We should get a deeper stretch than when we're doing this on the floor. Again, my chest is down, my knees are wide. We give those adductors, the pelvic floor gets a stretch here, our chest gets a stretch, and just trying to catch our breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Try to slow that heart rate. All right, both hands to the right side of your foot bar, and then just hold and stretch out that left lat, left obliques. Both hands to the left side, lean towards the right, try to stretch out that right side body. All right, then you guys can come up. We're gonna step off to the sides and the boxes can go back. Okay, now once we get our box back, we're gonna go on to two outside red springs for some feet and straps, or two heavy springs. And then feel free if you guys wanna grab your weights to make it a little more challenging with weights. You can go ahead and grab your weights today. I'm gonna to set them to my sides. Reach behind you, grab your long loops, and they're gonna go right onto your feet. Now, headrest up or down, that is up to you guys. If you wanna include your weights, you can grab them into your hands. Palms are rotated towards each other. Arms are nice and long up to the ceiling. Legs are up just as high as we can hold our neutral spines. Feet are parallel and zip together. We're gonna to exhale, lower the arms and legs straight down. We're gonna inhale, hinge, come up. Exhale to lower and inhale, hinge. I wanna thank my bra line stays heavy as my arms and legs lower and my sacrum stays heavy as I lift back up. We have four, three, two, draw those abs in and one. Now pause with the arms and legs down. Flip the palms up to the ceiling, heels together, toes apart. We open the arms and legs out to the side. We bring them together. We inhale to open. We exhale to close. Staying in that same plane as we open and close. Little bend to the elbows again, palms flipped up, heels together, toes apart. The entire time again, neutral spine, bra lines stay anchored. Inhale open, exhale close. So we can get right into our biceps, deltoids, traps, lats, and those adductors. Three, two, one. Okay, pause. Arms and legs straight up to the ceiling, palms rotated towards each other. We're gonna lower the arms and legs down. We'll open them wide out to the sides, circle around and back up. Hands should be on the outsides of your straps. Go down, circle around and up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, open to circle. Three, two, and one. Now, pause at the top, reverse. We open the arms and legs. We zip them together. We hinge again. Hands are always staying on the outsides of the straps. Again, we're maintaining our neutral spines the entire time. So I want to think sacrum heavy, pelvis still. Movement comes right from the head of the femur in that hip socket. Give me two and one. Okay, pause at the top. Go ahead, set those weights down to the sides. Give those straps a little tug, take them off your feet. All right, hang the straps back up onto the pegs. Step off to the left side. We're gonna take off one heavy spring, leave the other heavy on, and then we're gonna finish with a lunge. So, right foot back, 
Left foot on the floor. We're gonna press back with our right leg. Press back with our left. Hold a nice little lunge. And then we'll bring the carriage in and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So pop on over, right foot down, left foot back, press back, stretch and hold. All right, bring that carriage back in. You guys are all finished with your class. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it challenged you as much as it did me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You guys will get those videos every Monday, Wednesday. Leave me those super thanks. And then every Friday, if you guys are a part of my membership, you will get those videos exclusively every Friday, $4.99 a month for those member-only videos. Thanks, guys.